Hello, in this CEMU tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect up your PS5 controller, which is also known as the DualSense controller, to your Mac so you can play Wii U games. Just want to say this video is not condoning piracy and it is for educational purposes only. So to sync it up, it's really simple. It's got regular Bluetooth built in, non, none of the proprietary Xbox rubbish that was in the early Xbox controllers. So you can just sync it up out of the box. Works with any you know color, the newer PlayStation 5 controllers. If there are some newer ones when you know this video is created, it'll all work fine. So what you want to do is open up system preferences, go to Bluetooth. And now you need to put this into pairing mode. To do that, press the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time for a few seconds. And then the light will start flashing like so. As you can see, it is flashing. And on top of that, it's appeared right here. Click connect. The light will go solid like so. All done. Now, you just open up CEMU. So if you want to know how to do this on Windows, I've got separate video, Linux as well. If you haven't actually set up CEMU on your Mac, I've got a separate video covering that. And there'll be a link in the description for that as well. So go to Options, Input Settings, and click the plus icon. Go to SDL Controller, select PS5 Controller. If it doesn't appear straight away, just just do that a few times and it should do click add there we go by default it does a really good job of mapping so it picks up the analog sticks as you can see and let me move this over a bit and for the blow mic i'll press that you just press it it doesn't really show that it's activated there and then i'll just press the touchpad for the show screen i'll just press the the mute button which we're not using anyway i'm going to flip this around i want x as a circle as b and I want to flip these around as well. And just a personal preference. And apart from that, I'm happy with the rest of the mapping. Again, feel free to map it however you want. For the right and left stick clicks, it's literally just the analog stick being clicked in. Let me change that back. And for the axis, you literally just move the analog stick in that particular axis that you want to do. You could literally map the analog stick to the D-pad or to the face buttons like there's all sorts of stuff you can do feel free to create a profile which is useful for different games different genres so you can have a different configuration or even different you know players and that's it so if you want to go to settings you can enable rumble as well by just doing that you may have heard it i'll leave it off motion as of now is not working i will create a separate video once you know motion is working and i'll show you that as well because right now for press motion doesn't really do anything right here okay so i'm going to click okay go off there and then launch up a game so you can see this working if that happens fine it's just cemu related nothing to do with the controller setup and it happens it's one of those things you just got to bear in mind with emulators that's happening a lot now there we go I have turned the volume off, so just bear that in mind, that's the reason you're not hearing anything. Okay, so as you can see, I can move it, you know, left, right. I'm going to go to challenges, just because I want to, to, you know, watch the whole intro for this game, which means I can show you the controls. I mean, you can see the controls working, but in gameplay, you can see them working, not just on the menu. So I can move right, left, jump. And yeah, so let me play a little bit. Let's play as long as I can without dying. If you watch my PS4 controller video, it was not long. I made the mistake of jumping on to the, ooh, to the man eating plant. I think I can get this guy. Oh, yes. <sighs> Time's up already. That sucked. So I'll leave you at that. So that's how you connect up your PS5 controller. If you have any questions, feel free to you know, post on the Discord group. There's a link in the description. Feel free to post in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.